Okay, so now we're do, dealing with a uh, graph of cosine. So the graph of cosine is as follows. Okay, so it has kind of the same general kind of shape as sine, but it starts at 0, 1 instead of 0, 0 like sine does. And then it kind of, and it has, it's still a wave though. So it still goes through 0, up to negative, down to negative 1, and then back up. It ends at 2 pi. Okay. So the parent graph, y equals cosine of x, the period is still 2 pi. Amplitude, same as cosine. Okay, that deals with um, the stretch and compression. And it also deals with, deals with stretch and compression, but it also deals with reflection too. Because remember, if it's negative, that means it's going to reflect over the x-axis, just like when we were, um, when we talked about this in class. Okay. So with cosine, kind of review, uh, just to go over review a little bit, you can pause the video if you want to write this down in your notes, but A is in charge of the amplitude, stretch and compress. It's also, if it's a negative, it's going to reflect over the x-axis, okay? B determines the length of the period or cycle. So how long is it going to take through to get through one period or cycle of um, the graph, Okay. C, C is a phase shift. C and D are phase shifts. C is a phase shift left or right. Remember, C lies. So if it's positive, it's going to go left. If it's negative, it's going to go right units. And then um, phase shift for D, D tells the truth. So positive D, up units. Uh, minus D, down units. Okay. Okay, so the first graph, first example. So the first example is here, y equals negative one-half cosine of x. Okay, so I've gone through a couple things already. I've noted, I graphed, first of all, I graphed um, the parent graph, y equals cosine of x, that's graphed on the graph. And then uh, the amplitude, it's the absolute value, so the amplitude is going to be one-half. So that means it's going to be compressed from what we currently see. Okay, the period is going to be the same, 2 pi. Okay, but it also has a negative in front, which means it's going to be reflected. Okay, so I'm going to do this in steps. So the first step I'm going to do in yellow. This is not the final answer, but this is just what the reflection is going to do. So the reflection is going to reflect it, the, the original, over the x-axis. So we'd go there, go there. Okay, so if the question asked... The question said y equals negative cosine of x. That's what it would look like. Right here. Okay. But it's got a negative one half in front. So what is that one half going to do? It's going to compress it. Okay. So what it's going to do is it's going to... Um, what we're going to have to do is multiply. Anytime there's a compression or a stretch, what we have to do is multiply the y by whatever the stretch or compression is, okay? In this case, it's 1 half, okay? So that means the first point, the first dot here, would be not at 1, but at 1 half. And then when I reflect it, So one half would be here, that's with the reflection, but with the one half, it means it would go half as high. So that means it would be right there. So let me erase the other dot. Okay, so not at negative one, but at negative one half. Zero, half of zero is just zero. Okay, so this dot here, the next dot at pi, reflect it, goes up to one, and then half of that would be one half. Zero is still zero, and then this guy would be down where we started. So this one would be same shape, just reflected and kind of flattened out, compressed a little bit. Okay, so the next graph, I've changed it a little bit. It's y equals one third cosine one half x. Okay, so I changed it, instead of 0.5, I wrote just one half, so it's consistent, so we're not using decimals and fractions. Um, so one thing I noted is that the amplitude is one third, 
the period though is four pi it's not two pi anymore for this one the period is going to be extended one full cycle will go all the way to four pi okay so the parent graph in red over here stops after two pi it's going to repeat itself it's going to after that it's going to dip down and go keep going for this graph it's not it's going to take one full cycle now it's going to have the same shape as the red graph but it's just going to be extended it's going to take longer to finish one cycle okay so if it goes to four pi i only have two pi on my graph so i have to create a new pi new graph okay so here's my graph here so the red is the parent graph okay it ends at just from zero to two zero to two pi but now this graph is going to go from zero to four pi it's going to be extended by two kind of doubled in length it because it went from two pi to four pi so the length of it got doubled okay it gets extended by times two so every dot is going to be extended by two so remember we have the amplitude of one third so that's why the first dot here i have at one third now the next dot is zero Zero is not going to be where it is here. It's going to be doubled. So if it's pi over 2, that means it's going to be at pi, because pi over 2 times 2 is just pi. The next dot, so, so I, this dot goes here. OK, we change color. This dot moved to here. Now the next one is this dot here. Well. Again, it's not going to go down to negative 1. It's going to go down to negative 1 third. Where is it going to be, though? Where is the x? Well, it got doubled. So it, here it was at pi, so now it's going to be at 2 pi. So it's going to be negative 1 third right there. Okay, so that's where that dot went. Okay, the next dot. The next dot on the old graph was there. Still going to be 0, but it's going to be 0 times, it's going to be times 2. Now, this is 3 pi times 2. Okay, so 3 pi times 2 doubled makes it at 3 pi. Okay, and then the last dot is at 1. Well, it's not going to go up to 1. It's going to go up to 1 third. And it's doubled in location, so that's now at 4 pi. Okay, so the graph. Let's take a look at the graph. The graph is going to look like, so I'm going to connect all the, the, the black dots. So it's going to come down here. Only goes up to one-third and down to negative one-third. And it gets extended, so it's going to look very, very flat compared to the rest. Okay, so again, this is one third cosine one half x. The one third made the amplitude change to only one third, and the one half extended, doubled really, the length of one cycle. Okay, so the third example. So the third example is y equals negative cosine, and then in parentheses x plus four. Okay, so we have two transformations here. One is a um, negative in front, which means it's going to reflect over the x, and then the plus one fourth here, or plus pi over four, I should say. Okay, that's a phase shift. That means it's going to move left pi over four units. So every dot you see on here that's already graphed through the parent graph, every dot there is going to do two things. It's going to move left pi over 4 units and then be reflected across the x-axis. Okay? So the first dot, 0, 1. 0, 1 is going, to, is going to be reflected, so it's going to go down here. But then it's going to go left pi over 4 units. Well, pi over 4 units is kind of in between negative pi over 2 and 0. So it's going to go right there. That's where it's going to end up. Okay. All right. The next dot, 0, gets reflected. OK. And then it goes left pi over 4 units. The next dot at pi 
gets reflected up here, and then it's going to go left pi over 4 units. The next dot at 3 pi over 2, reflected, and then left pi over 4 units. And then the last dot is going to be reflected, and then over pi over 4 units. Okay, so it's reflected, and then translated left pi over 4 units. Okay, it's still got a period of pi, 2 pi, but this time, but it starts at negative pi over 4 here and ends at, um, it, it's going to end at 7 pi over 4. It's going to end at 7 pi over 4. So that's still 2 pi, but it just, it got reflected and then it got shifted to the left. Pi over four units.